All right, so for Christmas, my wife got me this bath tray um, and a bath pillow so that I can watch YouTube videos, watch movies in the bathtub while I take baths, because I like to take baths. And the other day, so like I think two days ago, I was sitting in there and I had to like bend over and I was like bending over to pick up my phone or something like that. And I bumped the wooden piece right there. And if you can see here, um, the wooden piece is barely hanging on the ledge there. And so I bumped it and it slid off like that. And then it fell. And then my computer went with it and it went all the way down into the water and was like half covered in water. Um, and so I, after that it went kind of black, the screen turned black, didn't work anymore. It worked for like two minutes and then this all happened and so it went black and it wouldn't work. I looked up some stuff on the internet and figured out how to fix it. And so I'm gonna share that with you, how to fix your laptop after it gets water damaged or after it falls in the water. So your computer screen is probably gonna be black like this. Um, it'll have a ton of water on it right when you spill it. So what you'll wanna do is the first thing I'd recommend doing is unplugging it and turning it off if you can. Um, so maybe just holding down that power button turn, until it turns off if you have a battery, unplug the battery. Um, but after that, what you'll wanna do is wipe all the water off and make sure to turn it upside down as fast as you can because you don't want the water to like seep into the keys here. Um, especially on the sides, if it was in the port, you'll wanna make sure to take it out of the port. The next thing you'll wanna do is take a towel like this. I actually used a blanket um, and a pillow and I just put it on my bed. But you'll wanna take a towel like this and put it on the ground. And then with your computer, you'll wanna turn it over like this so that all the water can fall out. Um, what I also recommend doing is grabbing another towel and so mine fell in on this side with all the ports. And so the ports had some water in it too. And so you can tilt your computer up like this and kind of put a towel under there. You can put something else under there, a pillow, so that you can kind of stack it so that the water spills out. If you got a lot of water in there, what you might want to do is to actually take it and put it up against the wall like that. That way kind of all the water just fills out, um, make sure it's turned off so that it doesn't ruin the power, um, the energy, anything like that. So after an hour, about le about an hour, about leaving it on the ground like that, um, it still didn't really work, and so I went to bed. Then I woke up, and in the morning, I think it was like five, six hours later, because I was up at 4 a.m. in the morning doing this, but it turned back on. It kind of booted up a little bit slowly, and things like lagged for a little bit. But after a while, it started working, and everything was fine, and it's been good for about two to three days. Since then, everything worked perfectly. So hopefully this saves you and your laptop and saves you some money instead of having to go buy a new laptop or go get it repaired. Um, I also like kind of pulled all the information off right after then just to make sure I had everything stored in case it did break again or in case I dropped it in the water again. Hopefully this video helps you if you dropped your laptop in the water too or just spilled water on it.